So hello everybody and welcome to another 25 days of Dash by Days challenge. It is day 14 and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there is the rules for the challenge down there. You can participate at any time, it's not too late. And if you want to know how to solve day 14 or you want to know how I did it, just let's get started. So day 14, the question was how many customers didn't purchase queso cabrales? How is that possible? But still, there are actually quite a few. So we're going to do it without DAX first, and we've been doing all this time. How many customers, customers, so you have to get the customer name. How many customers didn't purchase, so that is sales, a call for putting sales in there, queso cabrales. So queso cabrales, we get the product name. And the product name should be queso cabrales. There. Okay. In here, count. And I want to show you the items without um, value so we can see everything. So now we can see the customer that does not have sales for queso cabrales in a table forum. And I put that in Excel, export it out. And if you can count these, it will count to 59 because 60 is counting also the header, right? So it's 59 customers that did not purchase queso cabrales. So what we see when we're doing this is that we need to basically find customers that the sales is blank, for example. There's one option, you have many options to do this actually. We're actually going to, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first way is the way that we did on um, day 10, day, day 11, that I show you that I think it was Matt Allington that did on the Perio community because you can actually do the same thing here. It's quite cool. So if we go in here and we do day 14, now we're going to calculate the sales for product, I'm not sure if I need to filter product. Product name is queso cabrales, okay? But I want to count it where if it's blank, this, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Queso cabrales. So if it is blank, like you saw on the table below, Put a one, otherwise put a zero. Okay, and then go and sum the customer table where there the sales are blank. And if we put now these in here, we're going to get our 59. So as you can see that pattern was actually quite useful because you can use it for all kinds of scenarios. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit more complicated way, but I just wanted you to learn the technique. That's all. There's nothing weird with it. Um, this is actually quite cool technique that can be useful for other things. So let's do the 14.1. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create two tables, one with all the customers, all the customer IDs, and another one with all the customer IDs that bought the queso cabrales, okay? And then we're going to put them together and say, whoever ID is here that is not here, I want it and count it, okay? So first we're going to create a list for all customers of all the customers, you need customers on the customer table. So customer ID. Okay, so this returns a table with a column for all the customer IDs. Then we are going to get another one, which is QC customers. So it's customers that bought queso cabrales. We're going to use calculate table because we need this as a table. And then we're going to put the values of the um, customer ID from the orders table, because that's where we're going to do the, the filtering. We're going to filter that table for all orders 
where product ID, which is what is available on the order table, is 11. So 11 is queso cabrales product ID. Now, this is where the magic happens. Remember, we have two tables now, one with all customer IDs, one with all customer IDs that bought queso cabrales. So what we can do is uh, do calculate, and then we can do um, the distinct count of customer ID where, except, that's the cool part, all customers are QC customers. So all, cust all the customers that are here, that are not here, which means all the customers that did not purchase. And if I put it in there, you see that it obviously gives us the same result because it's the same thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, another way, there's a million and a half ways of doing it. Just showing you options, so techniques of how to solve uh, DAX puzzles, basically. So, how are you doing? Are you still with me? How many have you right? How did you calculate it, actually? Put the DAX below. And um, I will see you tomorrow, day 15.